Hello and welcome to a nerd news update. Smash Bros will be here in a little bit more than a month and the hype is through the roof. I've been seeing people who haven't really been all that into Smash aiming to make this their first one and for good reason. This is looking to be a celebration of all things Smash Brothers. Unfortunately, there's been a bit of a controversy brewing around Mr. Game & Watch's character. While a lot of people have been asking for new characters for Smash Brothers Ultimate, I was really hoping for more fan service and one bit of fan service that they delivered on was something I've been wanting since Brawl, to give Mr. Game & Watch game accurate moves, but one bit of recently revealed information isn't sitting too well with some. Mr. Game & Watch's forward smash originated in Fire Attack. In that game, you play as a cowboy who has to stop invading Native Americans, basing itself on the Indians vs. Cowboys trope. The Indians would throw torches onto your base, which Mr. Game & Watch uses as his forward smash attack. For the Game Boy Advance release of this game, the feather on the head was removed and the Native Americans were then referred to as bandits. Clearly some at Nintendo felt that this depiction of Native Americans was distasteful enough to warrant an update. Fast forward to present time and it seems that this fire attack move is based off the original. And this has caused some to be upset. Well, let's take a better look at it before brushing aside how other people might feel about it. I know some people are going to be quick to dismiss this as just some people being overly sensitive, but let's just take a look at it. Native Americans have a history of being represented in children's animations in very stereotypical ways, oftentimes very exaggerated. And a lot of this can be traced back to American colonizers who would often dehumanize Native Americans and, as in all things culture, much of it was passed on from generation to generation. So while the people who animated these particular works of media weren't xenophobic themselves, the imagery, ideas, myths, and concepts of how to represent these cultures come from a place that was xenophobic. And to be fair, I'm not Native American, so it really is isn't my place to comment on whether this should or shouldn't be offensive. The fact that there are people of Native American descent who don't find the Indians from Peter Pan offensive goes to show how much less it is my place to comment on a depiction that doesn't even involve me. But I'd be lying if I said I didn't know exactly how to feel about this. On the one hand, it's such a tiny detail I doubt many people would mind. It's a couple frames based on a video game from the 80s based on a trope that's based on a dark history. But does that make it okay? Well. Even if it's tiny, I don't think size should matter. It is what it is, big or small. If you had the African American centaur for a couple frames in Kingdom Hearts 3, we'd all be reminded of the awful ways African Americans were portrayed in earlier animated films, and if I look at it that way, yeah, I can kinda see why some people would be upset. Even though it's just a simple basic little design, we all know where it came from. So on the other hand, knowing where this depiction comes from, it's not surprising that people called it out. And I don't think it's because we're becoming more sensitive, but rather more people are banding together, much in large part thanks to the internet, and calling attention to stuff that in the past would have fallen on deaf ears. It's possible Nintendo will edit this out of the North American release, but it's also possible that, since it's out of context, it's just Mr. Game & Watch, a character that already didn't have any discernible features, with a feather on his head. If you gave this game to someone with no prior knowledge, they probably wouldn't have made the connection. So it's possible Nintendo just didn't see it that way and let it go through. It's a small detail, but the discussion it brings about can easily get heated. This was intended to be a simple video that is not intended to convince anyone to feel one way or the other, but instead to just talk about one of my favorite characters going through some hot water. I invite everyone to comment their thoughts and opinions, but if you do engage with another, always remember to be respectful, understanding, and Hey, it's just the internet, what are you doing arguing on the internet? Come on, there's better things to do than get sucked into a heated online debate over something that, if it really was so simple and obvious, it wouldn't be causing such a big discussion in the first place. So stay frosty everyone and look forward to Smash. It's gonna be great. I'm Boyle and see y'all next time.